The run is lining up then behind the tape then. They're off into stride for the Racing UK long walk hurdle over three miles. And two flights down the back straight for them to, to tackle first. Lock Derg is the one you'd expect probably to make the running here, although there's a two or three options on the front running front. Karabakh has taken it in last place, and Lock Derg has already opened up a decent advantage on uh, Karabakh, at least, who's racing alongside White Oak at the back of the field. Also, Diamond Harry is held up. Lock Derg legged uh, fair along over the second flight, though. K. Faramis is racing two or three lengths away back in third place. There's a gap then of five lengths back to Big Bucks and the Sheepskin Nose Man, who races together with Sweetheart. Diamond Harry on the inside of Karabakh, and White Oak in the yellow sleeves is held onto by Jason Maguire at the back of the field. So they're heading down the side of the course. What's sure to be a, a real stamina test for these top-class hurdlers. Certainly no quarter given from Lock Derg and Tom Scudamore, who leads fair along and Rhys Flint down the side of the track. Kay Faramis racing behind them in third place. Then Sweetheart and Big Bucks with uh, Timmy Murphy looking on behind Big Bucks on board Diamond Harry. He's trapped then by Karabak and A.P. McCoy, and White Oak brings up the rear. And the field are already separated by a good 15-plus lengths from first to last as they turn towards the home straight for the first time. So Lock Derg, who won this race at its traditional home at Ascot two years ago, will lead them towards the third flight with Fair along, two lengths behind him. Three or four length back to K. Faramis. Big Bucks took it on the inside of Sweetheart. White Oak just jumped it out to the right very slightly. Diamond Harry waited with at the back of the field together with Karabakh. And now they continue towards the middle flight down the home straight. And it's Lock Derg. Who leads by two and a half lengths then from fair along up towards it now locked oh he's down a bad mistake he dived at the flight there and he's down i'm pleased to delighted to see the horses up on his feet and cantering away okay and tom scudamore is also risen unscathed so Lock Derg then crashing out at the fourth flight in the long walk hurdle here at newbury and that leaves fair along with an advantage of four to five lengths then over k faramis so fair along comes up to the next flight Jumped it five or six clear of K. Farris, Sweetheart, together with Big Bucks on the inside. And two lengths behind Big Bucks is Diamond Harry, the second favourite, followed by Karabakh in the J.P. McManus colours. And last of all, looking on is White Oak. So a circuit to go. It's fair along and uh, Reese Flint who lead the field past the judge and head off towards the final circuit. Five lengths in second then is Kay Faramis. A gap then of seven lengths to Big Bucks and Ruby Walsh. Together with Sweetheart and Matty Batchelor on the outside. Timmy Murphy has got Diamond Harry two lengths behind her. Then a length and a half to Karabakh and finally at the back of the field is White Oak. Between first and last then as they head down the straight probably about uh, 12 lengths. Heading towards the four flights down the back, flights six, seven, eight, and nine then, and it's fair along who leads them. The gap is three lengths in hand of K. Faramis. Sweetheart jumped it third. Big Bucks very nimble over that in fourth place. Diamond Harry stalking in with Karabakh, and then White Oak still looking on from the rear of the field. Continuing their way then towards flight number seven here. And uh, it's still just in front, but uh, being drawn back now. K. Faramis draws alongside Fair Along then as they go towards this second flight down the back. Now these two have opened up a gap of ten lengths now on Big Bucks, who's clear third. Sweetheart just on the outside, handy enough in fourth. Between them then is Diamond Harry, Karabak looking on still with White Oak at the back of the field. And continuing their po past their point of departure now and heading off towards flight number eight. K. Faramis, the green jacket on the outside of Fair Along as they approach this next flight of hurdles. Fair along just in front of K. Faramis. Big Bucks on the inside in no hurry with Sweetheart there on the outside. Diamond Harry still trapping very sweetly indeed. So too Karabak and White Oak. The last flight on the far side now. A very nimble leap there by Fair Along. They're all over that flight OK, which was uh, four out. Long way to go yet though as they race inside the final mile or so now. And it's still Fair Along. Leads by Two and a half lengths again, having perhaps given him a breather down the back there. K. Faramis in turn is five clear of Big Bucks together on the outside with the mare Sweetheart. Diamond Harry just looming up on the outside now to get a little bit closer. And then comes Karabakh and White Oak. So 
An intriguing finale awaits us surely here in this Racing UK long walk hurdle as the runners head down the side of the course. Longish run before they get to the third last. Kay Faramis again drawing alongside. Now big bucks off the bridle for a few strides. Ruby Walsh is asking him to pick up these leaders. Farrell on the leader from Kay Faramis. A look, the confident look from Paddy Brennan on Kay Faramis. Now big bucks has gone into third, four lengths behind him. Diamond Harry covers the move and goes into fourth within about half a length then of the champion. They're coming down towards the third last here. Fair along, still swinging away. Comes towards the third last. Up towards it. Jumped it well. In second place, Kay Faramis. Big Bucks and Diamond Harry. The two big guns are getting closer. Ruby's working away though at Big Bucks. Karabak don't rule him out of it either. He's getting closer too. And it's Fair along. Kay Faramis is beaten who leads them down to the second last. Big Bucks and Diamond Harry now both being pushed along. Karabak still on the bridle. Back and forth. Here's the second last now. Fair along. Big Bucks on the inside. Drawing closer all the time. Diamond Harry there in third with Karabak poised behind them. The fourth of a kick clear of Waito who goes fifth. And now Diamond Harry and Big Bucks. The jewel is on as they race now this long run to the final flight. Big Bucks on the inside. Diamond Harry on the near side. It's Ruby Walsh, Timmy Murphy. Ruby Walsh on the far side then. Together on Big Bucks. Here comes AP on Karabak. The final flight. Big Bucks is in front by two lengths from Diamond Harry and Karabak. And they race inside the final 150 yards. And the champion pulls out a bit more. He Kicks in the turbo and stays on relentlessly. He is the champion, undisputed. Big Bucks comes home to win, and he wins it well again. From Karabak second, Diamond Harry an honourable third, and they were a long way clear of Kay Faramis and Farrellong. Four and five, White Oak, and then Sweetheart last. Three top-class staying hurdlers fill the frame in the long walk, but only one can be king. Big Bucks, you will not take him down. In